In order to be able to influence today's digital buyers, it is not only important to understand who they are, but also how they go about buying products. What is the journey from the recognition of their needs to the moment they decide to buy the product? This is what we call the buyer's journey, and this is the topic of today's video. We will discuss the concept of the buyer's journey, and we will use a theory developed by Google called the Zero Moment of Truth. This information will be helpful, as you will need to analyze the buyer's journey of your buyer persona for the final assessment. Let's imagine a customer who wants to go on a beach and party holiday. She has seen pictures shared by her friends on Instagram and Facebook about this destination, and she has heard people talking positively about their experience. Based on that, she has decided that she wants to know more about the destination and find maybe a place to stay. Where is she more likely to go and find information on the destination? We can all agree that she is most likely to go online to find this information. And the most common place where people go to find it is a search engine like Google. But there are other places that she could go to find this information. Could you please think about it and make a list of all the potential online places where she can go to know more about a potential holiday in Ibiza? We will then discuss this together in class. This moment when a consumer goes online to search information about a product is known as the Zero Moment of Truth, or ZMOT in short. This is how Leshinsky defines the ZMOT. We can define it as the moment when consumers are searching online for information about a product they are interested in. More information can be found in the ebook that Leshinsky published in 2011 together with Google. I highly encourage you to read the ebook in its entirety, including the appendices. However, for our next session, please read the first two chapters. This theory explains all the different steps that a consumer goes through before and after buying a product. It is based on the three-step mental model created by Lafley, former CEO of Procter & Gamble, who said that consumers are going through three critical steps when purchasing a product. Stimulus, in the shop, and experience. For example, John is watching the news on TV and sees an ad for a new wine. He thinks, hmm, that looks good, it would be perfect to bring to my next party. John then goes grocery shopping. He goes to a shop with a nice atmosphere. There's a beautiful stand-up display for that wine. The bottle looks fancy and a friendly salesman answers his questions. He buys the wine. When the party takes place, John and his friends enjoy the wine very much. It's a delicious choice. John is very happy. This is the model that guided marketers for a very long time. It's still valid, but it does not take into account an important factor, the internet. John still watches TV and see the advert but now he grabs his iPad off the coffee table and searches for reviews on this wine. He asks his friends on Facebook about it. He goes on YouTube to search for people who tasted this wine. He goes to the brand's website to find more information on how the wine was made. And before he goes to the shop, he is ready to make a decision. This is the zero moment of truth that happens between the stimulus and the first moment of truth. This is the Zmod theory the four-step mental model of consumer decision-making. There are a lot of other models that exist to map the buyer's journey, but for this course, we will focus on this one. On a side note, if you take the ZMOT ebook and look on page 65, you will see the details for each step. What does stimulus mean? What does ZMOT mean? What does FMOT mean? And so on. As we are selling a service like a hotel stay, the ZMOT theory can also be applied to our persona's buyer journey but just for one critical step, the first moment of truth. Remember, services have to be experienced. You're not buying the product, then having the experience, like we saw with the bottle of wine. You are purchasing the service at the same time as you're using it. So we need to slightly adapt the theory to the service industry. Remember, services are inseparable. You need to keep this in mind when communicating with your customers. So the FMAT is the moment when the customer is ready to buy a product and looks more specifically and the value proposition. What is the price? How does the room look like? What is the room size? What are the room amenities? And then makes a decision to purchase the product. And all of this tends to happen on a website when the customer makes a booking. We would prefer if it was on our website, but it can also happen on an OTA's website, of course. So the first moment of truth is that moment when the customer makes all the decision needs to do when he wants to purchase the service. 
So now let's look at the buyer's journey in detail using the Z-Mod theory. We will look at how a consumer makes his journey from when he has decided to go on holiday until he comes to your hotel and even what happens after a stay. The first step is when the customer is searching for inspiration. This is the stimulus. He is trying to get an idea of where he wants to go, where he wants to stay, finding the best place that will help him achieve his desired state. Then he moves to the zero moment of truth, where the customer is searching online for information about a destination he might be interested in. He might look at different sources until he finds something that interests him. He then moves to the first moment of truth, where he is ready to purchase, but looks at the value proposition first. Does the product offer enough value for the price he has to pay? He finishes this step with the confirmation of his booking or when he walks into a hotel, restaurant or spa. He then experiences the product in the second moment of truth. He enjoys the product or not. He is having a nice holiday, he is enjoying his stay in the room and he is having a nice meal with his family. And then he talks about his experience. This tends to happen online. For example, he might leave a review on TripAdvisor or Facebook or he might take a picture of his meal and share it on Instagram. This is the ultimate moment of truth. And here is the full journey with each step of the theory and what each step means. As you can see, we have added one more step called the ultimate moment of truth or UMART. This extra step has been added by Brian Solis who has separated the SMART in two different steps. It makes sense because as Leszczynski sees it, the SMART means two different acts, experiencing and sharing. Like that, those two acts are separate with their respective stage. And here is the model designed by Brian Solis. As you can see, it's very much the same model, he's just calling each step slightly differently. This is it for this video, and hopefully now you have a good understanding of the Zmod theory and of the buyer's journey. But the topic is yet not complete. In the following video we will discuss the importance of the UMOT section and how a good UMOT or a bad UMOT can impact others' consumers' buying journey.